This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hi everyone and welcome back to our brand new speed build. Today I have a small Tamarang family home for you guys and I am so excited to share this. This is my second build with the new um, EP that we got, The Sims 4 for Rent, which I know like I'm definitely not the first or the last to say this, but I, I the Sims team think next time please because The Sims 4 for Rent is a little bit too much. <laughs> Like, is it's just like four and f Sims 4 and then four rent. It's just, it doesn't make sense. But anyways, this is my second build with the new expansion pack. Um, and if you missed it, last week I built my first build with this pack. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, um, but yeah, I built my first um, build with this pack last week, and I built some apartments, like, sort of more in, like, the city area of this new world, and so this week I was like, I want to build something a little bit more, like, traditional, um, and I say a little bit more because this isn't, like, this doesn't end up being, like, that traditional, but I was able to use a lot of the other objects that we got with the pack, and I also wanted this to be in the other part of the world. So the world of Tamarang is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I, I love this world so much. It's so pretty, um, but it's divided up into kind of like two sections. Um, so the first section is um, the city area kind of, and that's where I built last week where you have more like apartments and it's, it's not as like rural, if that makes sense, which by the way, that is a really hard word to say. So I'm so sorry if I butcher that. Um, but yeah, and then there's this other part, like the second part of the world, which is where I'm building this week. And that is a little bit more like, again, a little bit more rural, rural, <laughs> What? Whoever whoever invented that word, I don't- what, what was wrong with you? Are you okay? Sorry, I hit my mic. I don't know if that picked it up. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I- I, I, I don't know why rural exists as a word because it's really hard to say, but anyways. Um, it's kind of a little bit more rural. It's a little bit more like jungle-esque. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it does remind me a lot of both Sulani and Jungle Adventure, which- what is the world? Salvadorada. Because, uh, yeah, Silver Rod as, as well. Um, a little bit, it's, again, it's kind of a little bit more tropical as well. Um, and so I thought it would be very fitting for me to build this type of house here. Um, and I was looking through Pinterest to find kind of inspiration because I said it last week, but I am not confident <laughs> in this style, like, at all. Um, the entire world of Tomerang and the entire, like, pack in general is kind of based on Southeast Asian culture and architecture and, you know, whatever. And I don't know a lot about it. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be totally honest here. I don't know a lot about it. I've never been there either. Um, so I took to Pinterest to look at inspiration and kind of get a hang of it, if that makes sense, because I don't want to, like, butcher anything and just make something that is, like, totally, like, not- I don't want to build, like, a suburban home here, you know what I mean? Like, I want to still, like, respect it, so hopefully this is okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If it's not, I am so sorry. I probably get someone yelling at me in the comments, but I- yeah, I don't know. I, I was trying. I tried my best. I'm so sorry if it's not, like, good. I'm sorry, but I tried, and I do actually end up really liking this house. Um, I was very unsure when I started, like, not gonna lie. Um, like I said, I was on Pinterest, and I didn't find, like, one specific build, I think. Oh, um, no, never mind. I think I did. I will plop it up here on the screen if I can find it and if I actually did, um, but I did take some, like, creative liberty with it and stuff like that, but I think it looks pretty good in the end. Um, it does end up being kind of small though. <laughs> so of course I did call this like a small Tomerang family home, but um, it, it is like genuinely small. This video is shorter than a lot of my other videos. So that's also a way you can tell, but it ends up having two bedrooms. Um, wait, why did I say that? It's three bedrooms. <laughs> I don't know why I said two bedrooms. Like, I have no idea, but there ends up being three bedrooms, um, but just two bathrooms. Um, so, yeah, it is, it's a small house, and the rooms are not too big. Um, I did really struggle with a floor plan, which I always cl cut out, like, me doing the floor plan, because in general, I do struggle with floor plans a lot of the time. Um, I think most people do, because... I don't know, it takes me a while <laughs> to figure them out, um, especially because I also like having bump outs on my houses because otherwise I feel like they look a little bit 
empty kind of um, and bump outs they're great for floor planning but if you have too many it can be an absolute pain <laughs> so that's usually a fault I have um, but yeah I did struggle with it but in the end I think it ends up looking pretty good and it kind of the house flows in a nice way I think um, but yeah so like I said I wanted to go for a little bit more of like quote-unquote traditional <laughs> again it's not too traditional but I wanted it to be in this part of the world where it's like i feel like this house was originally like traditional but then like as people have like as years have gone by and new people have moved in and stuff like that so i don't think the family that lives here like i don't think this house has been in their like family through generations i more so think that it's probably like a house they just moved into so they brought all their stuff to it um so there are a little bit more like quote unquote modern objects more so in maybe like the teens room which oh my god i forgot to mention uh the rooms are decorated for two parents one teen and a kid um but yeah some more like in the teens bedroom there ends up being like a computer and stuff like that so it's not traditional in that sense but I don't know. I don't know what to call the style of this house either. Um, if you know, like, the style you would call this, please let me know. I also now have a cat on my desk. <laughs> if you heard someone, like, if you heard a little jump or something, that was my cat just jumping on top of my desk. Um, I usually don't let her in my house, or in my house, in my, um, room when I'm recording, but she is here right now, so, um, hopefully she won't make too much noise. Hopefully, I don't know. She probably just want wants cuddles, to be fair. But yeah, anyways, like I've said like thousands of times now, I wanted this to be a little more traditional and my main goal with it was to use objects that I wasn't able to use in my last build, specifically the windows, because we got so many just like beautiful, beautiful windows with this pack. Like I, the amount of windows is insane, but they look so freaking good and we have a few different styles and types and whatever and so I wanted to kind of explore them a little bit so there ends up being I think I use like two different kinds of windows three I don't remember there's one that it has like the shutters open and it kind of just I don't know how to explain it but like the shutters are open um they're not like flush against the wall like they're just like kind of open a little bit and they have like stained glass at the top which i love that window so much it looks so freaking pretty um and then we have some other windows which also have the shutters but there are two different sizes of them so there are ones that are a little bit taller and one that are a little bit shorter and i use both and i mostly end up using the kind of like taller version of them on the first floor because for the first floor there I used the medium wall height which I almost never do but it just felt right for this build um and then I use the kind of shorter versions of the windows on the second floor um mostly I do still use the taller ones on the second floor as well but not as much and I think those are the only two windows that I use but they look absolutely beautiful um I did struggle a lot with finding a door to use which obviously I cut that out but um I was struggling with the front door because again I am working on the medium wall height and with this pack we didn't get get a medium wall height door um, but I found this base game one which really just matched like the wood tone I was going for and I don't know I think it looks pretty good I wouldn't have thought to use this in, like this type of house but I think it looks pretty good um, and then oh my god my voice is dying <laughs> and then for the like door to to the balcony <laughs> on the second floor um, which by the way that balcony comes out from the teens room which I know some people might think is unrealistic because I feel like a lot of people feel like if there is a balcony through a bedroom it will be the master bedroom which is like fair but also my room like it, IRL um, in my room I have the balcony <laughs> like my room is connected to the balcony so I don't know if that makes sense I feel like it just makes sense to me because I have that but anyways um yeah so I was struggling a little bit to find a door there too but I found this one from uh the island living pack and I think it looks pretty good I think it works pretty well um it's kind it kind of has this like kind of mesh thing on it which is great because the windows from this pack they don't have glass in them um if you didn't realize well some of them do but like the versions uh or the styles or the, whatever i used for this build um they don't have glass in them they're just kind of open which makes sense if you live in like a warmer climate if you lived where i live you would literally be dead <laughs> you would be freezing to death um so i couldn't have that here but like if in more like tropical places uh, warmer places it 
definitely makes sense. Um, so yeah, I think that mesh window just kind of, or mesh door, um, worked very, very well. Um, but yeah, overall for this house, I also wanted to go for a more, like, quote-unquote regular <laughs> brown wood tone. Um, I, if you missed, again, last week's video, I used a very dark wood tone for that, and for this one, I wanted to use either this wood tone, which I ended up using, which is kind of just the natural, like, kind of just default brown is what I see this, um, color as. I don't know if that makes sense, but, like, we have this color in, like, almost all the objects in this game, and it just always works. <laughs> and it's kind of just, like, the default brown wood tone in, in at least my eyes. I don't know if you agree with me, but that's at least how I think. Um, and I was either going to do this one or, like, a lighter wood tone, but... I decided for this one and I think it ends up looking really well. So the entire house has this wood tone, but then I, for the roof, I wanted to use the, one of the new roof swatches, but I also wanted to use one of the new roof trims because in last week's video, I didn't have a chance to use uh, the new roof trims, but we have two new roof trims. I said roof trims like 15 times now, <laughs> but we have two new roof trims and um, they're beautiful. Like, they, we don't have anything else like them in the game. They're absolutely beautiful. I love them so much. And it, they just, they look so beautiful. So, for the roof swatch, I decided to go with kind of a redwood swatch, which set the tone for the entire house. <laughs> so, the entire house ends up having this kind of just like red, orange, yellow color scheme with this wood tone. And I know some people might think it's a lot, and I'm aware, like, if you've been here before, you know that I usually decorate very, like, neutral. I don't have a lot of color. I just, I like my things to be neutral. <laughs> I truly am a Scandinavian, um, but, like, I li like to have things neutral. But with this house, I went all in with the red and the orange and the yellow, and... It looks so good and thankfully the kind of also what set off it it was i started doing the living room which is the first room you'll see me do and i realized that the swatch of the new like couch and also armchairs and in general like everything that has like fabric <laughs> attached to an object uh with this new pack and has this wood swatch that i was going for has those orange or red tones in them so it just worked out very well and I think it looks so good again I know it might be a little bit much for some people because I went all in like I used patterned rugs and there are like patterned uh, paintings and stuff like that all over the house so like again for some people it might be a lot but I feel like it fits so well for this house again if if I'm like totally wrong here you can yell at me in the comments but I don't know I just I think it fits so well and I really hope you guys like it and think the same and I had so much fun with this build like I was going so much outside my comfort so like I've never built anything like this and I was having so much fun and I was able to use uh, the new like curtains that we have, which I love the new curtains. They're so cute. They're so beautiful. Uh, we do have a couple of just like plain, like we have like a white swatch. We have a blue, a black and stuff like that, which I, I appreciate that so much. Once again, I wish we had like a cream swatch of it because I love using like cream curtains. To be fair, I also kind of like have like cream or beige curtains in my room, so maybe that's why. But I do love using like cream, so I wish we had a swatch like for like with these new curtains that was a little bit more creamy. Uh, but yeah, again, we have some of those like just plain like solid color ones, but then we also have some that are absolutely like beautiful like patterned ones. So I used one of those um, swatches in this house and I just. I think it looks so good. Also, with me having this color scheme and these many patterns, I feel like it looks very cluttered, which if you have been here before, <laughs> you know that I do love my clutter. Um, So having this and kind of just like feeling like it actually looks very, very cluttered just because of all the patterns, it, it really just warms my heart so much. Um, I also end up putting these fairy lights from the free holiday um pack i don't know i don't know what to call that because if you didn't know if you have the sims 4 you can get a dlc that is completely free uh that has like holiday stuff in it so like christmas stuff and i think some hanukkah stuff and stuff like that in it um which i absolutely love um but the we have these fairy lights um from that like i don't know if to call it a pack or 
I don't, I don't know what to call it. Like, I have no idea, but, um, we have these lights, uh, fairy lights that came with that, and they look so cute. Like, I love those so much. I normally, for, if you've been here before, you will know that I, I love my fairy lights. I use fairy lights all the time, maybe to a fault, um, but I usually use the ones that we got from the Parenthood expansion pack, but for this house, I just feel like these ones fitted it so well, and again, they also have these, like, yellow lights um and not, they're not like white they're kind of yellow and i think it just looks really good um and so i know i might have placed them a little bit much <laughs> i'm aware i might have gone a little bit overboard and for that i am sorry like even i was when i was building this i was like is this a too much which like if i am saying that fairy lights are might be too much you know it's a problem um but in the end i do end up keeping them all but i just wanted to say that so like i don't get a comments like comment to just being like mal what happened <laughs> with the fairy lights but we're just gonna le let it be okay okay great um <laughs> But yeah, um, also another object that I wanted to use, um, well, not that I wanted to use, but like one that I was very happy to use in this build was the new toilet that we have. Um, so with the new expression pack, again, we got these two new toilets, which they're the same kind of thing. Just one is, they, they look a little bit different, but like they're the same thing. And they're like squat, squat toilets? Is that how you say it? Like squat toilets? Is that what you call them? I don't know. Um, which like... We don't have anything like that in the game or where I'm from, but apparently they're pretty common in like Southeast Asia or in Asia in general. And could it be me? I'm just gonna say that. Could it be me? Don't get me wrong. I can do a great squat. Like I can, you know that um where you're like supposed to be able to like go down really low and like stand on your feet and without them like going up or whatever. I'm great at that. Like I don't know why. I just I could do that very easily, but I don't want to squat to go to the bathroom. <laughs> You know, um, and so I didn't put them in uh, my build last week because uh, the first bathroom I decorated, which was also the only bathroom you saw in that build, was uh, for an apartment that I imagined grandparents being in. And like, in my head, <laughs> I could not see like my grandma going to squat toilet. Like, I don't know. I don't know if like that just maybe I'm insane but like, and I guess like if you if you're used to it, like which they are in this part of the world it would probably be fine but in my head I was just like no that is that is like there's gonna be an accident so um I decided to not use them in my last um build but for this one I really wanted to use them and I think it looks pretty good um I did struggle a little bit but I because like decorating and stuff like that I don't know with it I know that's a weird thing to like struggle with when you have like, a different toilet but like I'm used to having like a quote-unquote regular toilet like a regular toilet for me so having this one I was like how do I like what do I do now <laughs> what do I do um but I do really like it I think it ends up looking pretty good um also in the kitchen I end up using the like the tiling the backsplash or whatever for the kitchen um I wanted to have a tiling as or tiling that's not even what it's called I wanted to have uh, backsplash tiles like whatever they're called I don't remember um but I wanted to have that in the kitchen as I always put but I decided to use this one um that we got with the latest stuff pack which is the and uh, it's not cool kitchen it's home chef hustle <laughs> there we go <laughs> we have had cool kitchen cool cool kitchen stuff oh my god I'm really messing it up huh I just said it but anyways we've had that one for a while but uh the other kitchen stuff pack you know the one that we just got um we got this tile with and it looks perfect for this house I don't know if that's just me maybe that's just me let me know in the comments but I think it ends up looking like so good and I think it just fits the entire vibe I love it so much um I don't know I just I kind of struggle in general to use that wallpaper because it does have like some patterns to it and stuff like that but this is the default swatch of it and I think it just looks so good like again let me know in the comments what you guys think but I think that it's looking pretty good if I do say so myself um but yeah I don't know I feel like in this voiceover I've kind of just like just been talking about specific objects um which is i'm sorry um i should probably mention that uh this house is entirely play tested if you want to download it from the gallery you can do so my gallery id is simsor04 and the tray files will be linked down below um again if i haven't posted the tray files and you want them 
just made, like drop a comment about it and I will do it as quickly as possible because I often forget to do the tray files and then someone will comment and I'm like, oh right, yeah. Um, and I will just do it because like it takes me a minute to do it. It's really easy. Um, but I just, I forget to do it a lot. Um, but yeah. Um, what else was it that I wanted to mention about this build? There were a few things. I don't know if there were more things like specifically for this pack that I wanted to mention. Um, I don't know. I just, again, I had a lot of fun with this build um i used so many like objects that i just i love they're so pretty um this is uh, once again it's very outside my comfort zone and so i'm so sorry if just it looks a little bit weird or you don't like it or like it's not realistic i am so sorry i am trying my best over here um which like if i would have gotten this pack like two years ago I would have zero clue what to do um but i feel like i've just evolved so much as a builder so like now you can throw basically any pack at me and i will be able to do a build that is decent <laughs> um, i'm saying that because like i never say never um because like i remember when uh my wedding stories came out i struggled so hard to make a build there and now building in tartosa is like my favorite thing so i definitely have involved as a builder so i do think this house ends up looking pretty good in my opinion um but again let me know what you guys think in the comments um uh like i said before uh the like other the, the rooms in this house were decorated for two parents one teen and a kid um the teen i love their room there it's very neutral which i i feel like i haven't done just like a quote like just I, i'm struggling with words um <laughs> but just like a very generic like uh what is the word i literally just said it i don't i i forgot the word <laughs> but it's just a very generic uh tea's room there is no like loud colors or like that it's pretty muted um i think it ends up looking really really good in my opinion a weird thing that i know it's like a weird thing to comment on <laughs> for the for that room but i love the nightstand slash dresser that i did um so instead of using just a nightstand i decided to use the new dresser that we got with this pack and kind of have it double up as both the dresser and a nightstand um and i don't know what it was but i love how i decorated it i put um like the vinyl record thing that we got with the modern lux kit and then i also put um this like light it is in the lights category but um we got it i think <laughs> like i want to say vintage glamour i am not 100 percent sure but we got this item and it, again it's in the lights category because it has like a candle on it but then there's also like a little plant on it and like some perfume bottles or something like that and i just think it looks so good and just in general i love how i clutter that up which is really weird um and the thing that kind of set the entire tone for that room was because i knew that i wanted to use this specific swatch of the new curtains um so like i mentioned before we have a lot of different swatches um for the new curtains and probably my favorite honestly um is the one i ended up using in the teens bedroom which is a like they have this like lily pads on them um and the specific swatch of that one is like kind of purple and then like there's a light pink and like a little bit blue on it and it just it looks so good i don't know why i just i love it as we know i am always a sucker for purple purple is my favorite color so maybe that's why but i just i really like it um i did struggle to find a bed for that room though because like for a long time i did cut it out but like i struggled for such a long time uh, but i did end up going with a just again like kind of plain generic bed from snowy escape actually um uh, but yeah i really just i think it looks kind of cute in the end um and i just again i love how generic that bedroom is which is really weird to say but i just feel like it would fit kind of any sim um i was personally thinking like a teenage girl um who's kind of just a generic teenage girl you know they're not like they're not like a cheerleader or anything like that they're not like a geek they're kind of just exist to be honest um but again of course you could always have just whoever you want in that room um for my safe file though i think i'm going to have a teenage girl here and yeah so i just wanted to mention that but like again you can have whoever you want i don't care um and then the kids bedroom ends up being very blue and i don't know i kind of like it <laughs> it's it's really cute i know that the kids room i did last week was also blue but 
I did it differently this time, if that makes sense. And I think it ends up looking just really, really cute. Um, and in that room, I prioritized having, because I could have fitted a desk, but I decided to use a um, like dollhouse and like the drawing thing, <laughs> whatever you call it. Um, I decided to have that in there in there instead of, instead of a desk. So yeah, I kind of just prioritized like actually activities and I think it ends up looking really cute as well. Um, again, in general, I love this house so much. Again, I know it won't be everyone's cup of tea, which is totally fine. Like you don't have to watch the speed bill if it <laughs> I feel like if you didn't like this house, you probably wouldn't be here still because we're like 25 minutes in um, and we're almost done with the video, which is insane because like usually I'm like halfway done with the video <laughs> at this point, but we're almost done. This is great because like I played a lot of Lethal Company the other day and I screamed so much. So now my voice is messed up and it really hurts to talk. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. That's probably why. Um, but it's great they have like a shorter video this week. Um, which by the way, I also wanted to mention because I did put up a poll today when I'm recording this. You're seeing this in a couple of days, but um, the poll is still up, <laughs> of course, on my community tab um, over like over on it's on my community tab it's here on youtube um anyways and it's about next week's video because i can't decide if i should do another build with the new expansion pack which i will say uh would be another like kind of apartment building or if i should do a christmas build because that will be on the 22nd um so if i'm going to do any christmas related things this year it's going to have to be next week so I don't know. Um, the entire like just the release of this pack is kind of thrown. <laughs> I feel like everyone's like Christmas plans, um, like build wise this year, and I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like it's kind of thrown everyone off a little bit because I don't like correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've ever gotten an expansion pack like this close to Christmas. Um, which of course, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I I get that that probably doesn't matter for you guys but I do um <laughs> I, I love Christmas again I'm not religious at all but I just I love Christmas it's family time and I love it um I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think we've ever gotten a pack this close to Christmas before so I'm just I don't really know what to do <laughs> like I'm just like I was supposed to post like Christmas builds but now I'm posting these builds is that which again I'm not complaining I love this pack so much um I think it I don't know I just I love it um <laughs> but anyways that's basically it for this video and I really hope you liked it and don't forget to like share comment and of course subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one bye